The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you have noticed, St. John uses the word sign, not miracle. This is the second sign. What was the first sign? Turning water into wine. The second sign is the healing of the sun. You know that God favors the humble, but also God takes delight on those who believe. Because not all humble people believe in God. Not all humble people have faith, have faith. Of course, as I have said, in being humble, it is at the foundation of other virtues because the only person who are teachable are the humble. Sino ba pwede mong utusan? Kundi yung mababa ang loob. Sino ba yung pwedeng turuan? Yung mababa ang loob. Sino ba ang pwedeng itama? Yung mababa ang loob. Sino ba ang pwede mong pagsabihan? Yung mababa ang loob. Hindi ibig sabihin ng mababang loob yung wala, walang pera, walang alam, hindi. Kasi meron namang walang wala, pero mayabang. At alam nyo na merong nasa tugatog ng kanyang tagumpay, pero mapagpakumbaba. Walang sense of entitlement. Walang sense of entitlement. Yan yung mga taong kahit sila ay mayaman, kahit sila ay maayos ang kalalagayan, 
Pag sinabing pila, pumipila sila. Hindi sila nag-aalala ko ano ang sasabihin sa kanila na ibang tao. Hindi sila natatakot na sabihin kung ano ang totoo. Kasi wala naman silang itinatago. It is a disposition of the heart. But what is faith? What is faith? Faith is believing in something you do not see. Where you put your trust in the word of God. Magandang subject ng prayer yung unang pagbasa. It is an invitation to faith. When God gives you an idea or gives you a vision of what is to come, what is to come, what struck me is that time will come out of faith that people will live beyond 100 as a sign of God's manifestation of His grace. Can you imagine? Life will be long, not only well. As I have said many times, that you don't desire to live long, but to live well. But there is no other way to live well than to live in God. To live in God. Hindi sinasabi sa unang pagbasa, hindi ka mamamatay. Pero mahaba ang buhay na punong-puno ng pagpapala sa mga taong may pananalig at pananampalataya sa Diyos. Hindi ibig sabihin, hindi ka susubukan. Bahagi ng pagsubok o bahagi ng pananampalataya o paglago sa pananampalataya ang pagsubok. Kaya nga, kung hindi ka nasusubukan, paano masasabihin ikaw ay mayroong pananampalataya? How can you say you have faith in God if you have not been tested? How can you say you trust in God if you are not put into test? Or God has allowed you to suffer, to struggle? Name it. Name it. Masasabi mo lang naman talagang mayroong kang pananalig sa Diyos because you have experienced it. You have experienced it. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, we begin this fourth week of Lent. Perhaps to grow in faith or an invitation for us not only to understand the love of God, that this love of God is inclusive and encompassing, but to grow in faith. How many of us really believe in the Word of God? We ask the Lord to continue to guide us in this Lenten meditation. Amen. Ang akin pong walang sawang paalala na kayo po ay palagi mag-ingat sapagkat ang virus na ito as mas, ay mas nakakahawa. Iwasan ang paglabas-labas, pagpunta sa mga lugar na hindi naman kailangan puntahan. Stay safe, stay at home. Do not forget to wear your face mask, your face shield, especially when you are out or in public. Keep sanitizing your hands. Avoid touching your face. Avoid congregation of people, gathering of people. Keep the social distancing or physical distancing. Mabuti na yung nag-iingat kaysa sa huli tayo ay nagsisisi. May ganun talaga pagka minsan na po. If you are not feeling well, don't go out. Stay at home. Don't even go to church. If you are healthy, don't compromise your health by exposing yourself or by risking yourself. It also means 
avoid receiving visitors at home. Hindi ka nga lumalabas, tanggap ka naman ang tanggap ng bisita. Di parehas din. Ano pa? I was yesterday I just I was just told by someone that yung yung boyfriend yata and I'm not sure boyfriend ang tinanggap sa bahay bumisita na hindi alam ng boyfriend na sila siya ay asymptomatic and because of that the girl lost a brother lost a grandmother and I think she lost either her mother or her father no? paano mo naman pakakasalan yan muntik nang ubusin ang lahi mo no? ingat po ano pa? ingat palagi going back to what I've said We all know that the love of God is encompassing, inclusive, immeasurable, and God favors the humble. But today, we are being reminded that God takes delight on people who have faith. And this is the grace you'd like to ask in this fourth week of Lent. Lord, help me to grow in faith. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.